Hello, welcome to SimpleScuba.com. In this session, we're going to look at the Scuba Pro Mark 11 C300. Let's take a closer look. The Mark 11 C300 regulator is designed for travelling. It's a lightweight first stage and again a lightweight second stage. If we look at the first stage itself, the first stage comes in DIN 300 bar, as you can see here, and also as an A-clamp version as well. So you've got that flexibility if you require. It's got a good amount of flexibility on the first stage. Got two low pressure ports either side. And again, one high pressure port either side. So again, you've got good configuration. Uh, gives you great flexibility for what you want to do with a regulator. As I said, it's a warm water regulator primarily. It's nice and light. I've cut additional excess material away and placed it by a high impact plastic. And all the plastic parts on here are anti-scratch as well, so it's going to stand up against time and knocks and things like that. If we'll have a look at the second stage. C300 is a new reg regulator, a uh, new design of valve inside, so it's going to give performance on a par with uh, something like a, a um, high performing balance regulator. Again, all the plastic and covers are an anti-scratch material, so they're going to, you know, not going to get too damaged by being knocked around on rocks or scraped on the floor. It's going to give that front a bit of uh, longevity, um, unlike a more uh, harder plastic. On the side, you can see we've got a number of controls. This one on the outside can be dialed in or out. And this is basically affecting the inhalation effort required to open the valve. Obviously, winding it in just makes that a little bit harder. So if you need to fine tune the regulator at any point during the dive, you obviously can do that. And this other one on the side is switch, controls the flow of the air inside the regulator. In its pre-dive mode, it's basically forcing some of the air back towards the diaphragm, helping to shut that valve. Um, it obviously helps to prevent free flowing uh, and things like that, just by closing that valve as quickly as possible. And in its dive mode, it's giving best performance and efficiency through the mouthpiece uh, obviously delivering as much air uh, as you need. As you can see, it's a nice, small, compact design, nice and lightweight, great travel regulator.